these are seven hacks that most professional photographers don't want you to know. That's a lie. I actually hate when I see YouTube videos that say that kind of crap. But these are seven things to consider if you want to take a better portrait. And things I see most people completely screw up. Number one mistake I see is lighting, by far lighting. So I'm gonna take our model, Samantha, and I'm gonna put you in really bad light, I'm sorry. <laughs> so right now, if we look at her face, she has totally uneven light on her. So let's take a really bad picture of Samantha. Let me tell you what you need to actually look for. You want to find a spot where the light is even on her face, as well as even on the background. So what we'll do, is we're gonna turn you this way back to that spot. So you can go all the way over here. And now when you look at Samantha, you're gonna see the light on her face, the amount of brightness on her face is even to the background. But then on top of that, the light is nice and smooth on her face. You don't see any harsh shadows. There's nothing crazy going on right there. So she looks nice and smooth, the light looks great. Number two, hack or tip or whatever, use a reflector. So I'm gonna bring in Julia, our assistant, and she's gonna use a reflector. So even though the light is even here, we can add a reflector. Now the closer it is to her face, the softer the light will be, potentially the brighter. So now we have a beautiful catch light in her eyes using a reflector, which th this cost me I think $40, maybe 30 on Adorama, but I'll put a link below. It can really elevate your portrait. Before we jump into this, make sure that you download my free posing inspiration guide. We could all use some inspiration. Get that in the link below with lots of ideas on how to pose groups and individuals. Number three hack that you want to think about is think of the rule of thirds. Composition is one of the biggest mistakes that I see photographers make, and they take photos that look a little something like, I don't know, like this. Maybe they put your model right in the center of the frame like that. And if you're trying to be artsy, maybe that'll fly, but you want to think about the rule of thirds. What the heck is that? Well, that's when you break a photo into three columns and three rows, and you want to place your subject into one of those thirds versus smack in the middle. So let's do that. And you can vary this, by the way. Number four hack is to separate your subject from the background as much as possible. Ideally, very far away. So we're actually gonna take a little bit of a walk. Now we've moved our model further away from the background and we've got two great things that have happened here. One, she's further away, background gets blurry, but two, I also found some really cool light on the tree over here, which is gonna look very cool in the portrait. I've also switched to a 135 millimeter lens and accidentally just took a picture. Um, this is gonna have more compression. It's gonna create a blurrier background. We have videos on that. In that corner, you can click. And, uh, and it's just gonna make it a little bit more dreamy. So let's take a photo so you can see what this looks like. Nice, cute. And then kind of just do like a little side by side, little moving around. And this is, by the way, portrait hack at number five, six, whatever we're on, I think six. Talk to your model. It is super awkward if you're not talking to your subject and you're not gonna get good expressions. Now we are working with a professional model here, but even if you're working with a professional or a consumer, communicate. So, do a little hand on the hip actually. That looks cute, look up at me, nice. Perfect. Number six portrait hack is get your model to do the turtle. <laughs> so here's what this is. You want them to take their chin and stick it forward like this. It's not up, it's not down, it's forward and it stretches out the neck a whole bunch, which is helpful, especially when you're using a lens like this one that causes a lot of compression. You don't want the neck and, and face to be like one straight line. Now the last thing that I wanted to tell you to do, we've moved our subject away from the background, but there's actually three 
grounds that you need to think of. Your background, your middle ground, and foreground. Now we don't have anything here to create foreground, but we can create it by putting something in front of the picture. Uh, and to do that, I'm just going to go grab my flowers. Be right back. So you can even pull something. I would have, you know, grabbed the leaf or a flower, but it's the dead of winter and we're all freezing. So I grabbed this instead. So we do the same exact thing, but this time we're going to give ourselves a little foreground. gives a little bit more depth. Now you have foreground, middle ground, and background. And I am freezing, look how red my hands are. So those are seven hacks to make great portraits. Hope you found them helpful. Subscribe, ring my bell, and uh, bring me some hot chocolate, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>